Hello, welcome to another book review. I'm your host, Kristen, and today I will be reviewing the YA sci-fi dystopian book, The Unadjusteds, by Marissa Noel. In case you were interested in buying the book afterward, content warnings are blood, violence, overdosing, animal death, animal attack, ableism, mild gore, and grief. For this review, I will start with the overall plot, then world building, and finally the characters. Let's begin. In the world of the unadjusteds, teenagers can take a nanite pill that alters their DNA to get them superpowers, like strength, flight, and invisibility. However, 16-year-old Silver Melody and her friend, Matt, have refused to take any pills after the friend OD'd after one too many nanites during her birthday. Once President Bear orders that every teenager must take a nanite, Silver and her father must go on the run. When Silver's father is captured, she must find an underground rebellion. She then teams up with a group of mutants to make a prison break. As Silver's skills are tested, she starts developing abilities of her own. I must admit that I really enjoyed the plot. The pills are creative, and they lead to a wonderful array of powers that I would love to see more of. That said, the pacing is also a bit too quick. This leads to the issue that it's very hard to form connections to the characters when we know little to nothing about them or their struggles. That said, there are plenty of twists and turns to keep this book entertaining. For the world building, I do really enjoy the idea of nanite pills and their effects. It's fun to see the characters flow on butterfly wings, run with the help of super speed, and gain super strength through the help of this medicine especially since one pill too many can result to the rejection of said ability and end in death, which is horrifying. Besides the pills, I do wish I got to see more of the society and the different abilities before Silver fled into the woods with her dad. It would have been interesting to see how someone without superpowers navigated a superhuman world besides what the reader just sees in her high school. As for the animals, Seeing the mutant creatures was cool. My favorite design were the hellhounds. That said, for how powerful they were described, the one that fought Silver was killed fairly quick. However, their creativity was still there, especially with the mutant wolves. Furthermore, although the prison break was fun, it was also over way too fast. The most the group had to deal with were a handful of guards at the beginning, with the only real challenge being President Bear. Although Silver had a pretty typical attitude for a YA teenager, I did enjoy seeing her grow and change during the course of the story. My favorite parts of her arc were her learning to use her new powers and getting over her prejudice of people with butterfly wings. Unfortunately, I did feel like Silver's powers also came a bit too easy to her. Only one mishap occurred with her wings, while every other power seemed like a one-and-done trial. The most Silver had to build up was her stamina, and at times she felt a bit too overpowered. I did still enjoy reading about Silver as a character. Watching her discover how to acquire her newfound powers and bond with the group was great. I especially liked her growing friendship with Erica. Although Matt and Joe are nice characters and very caring towards Silver, they were both clearly only meant to be part of a love triangle. Joe did go through a character arc, but it was mostly him battling his feelings for Silver in the love triangle. Furthermore, although he was a tank during the fight scenes, he also sucked away most of the tension, especially when it came to fighting other people like him. I do like how both men are decent friends and people. Instead of how love triangles usually play out, where one would be the more obvious choice. I must admit, I really liked Erica. Her abrasiveness came from a deep place of hurt, which is relatable. Also, I did feel bad for her when Silver immediately labeled Erica as a snob, just because Erica had butterfly wings. I do wish her and Silver's relationship was fleshed out more, but that can be saved for the sequel. For the main antagonist, President Bear was pretty weak. The reader is told he is a tyrant, with all eyes focused on Silver and her dad, but that doesn't seem like the case from the text. Silver and her father are able to escape into the woods for days, 
despite constant surveillance. The people the president hires are also quickly and easily beaten by a group of ragtag teenagers. Finally, my biggest issue was with the president's powers. The audience is told that he is the most dangerous man alive, but Silver manages to escape from him with relative ease. The president's backstory is also never really fleshed out, making him a one-dimensional character. Overall, I give this book three and a half stars. Though the premise was great and most of the characters were fun, the pacing was too quick to form any real connections to the main cast. Another example are the fight scenes, where the enemies are killed too quick, thus not establishing a real sense of danger. I also would have loved to see Silver struggle with her powers more, especially the more dangerous ones. However, what the readers get in terms of powers is still neat to watch in a fight. Overall, I do recommend this book for lovers of sci-fi and fast-paced action. I hope Mrs. Noel will keep improving her craft and wish her the best of luck on her writing journey.